Like most looping devices, Buffer is essentially a sampler. When triggered via keyboard, sequencer, or from the front panel, Buffer records incoming audio into memory, then plays the sampled audio until the trigger is released. Disabling the loop on toggle button switches off the repeater function, so when Buffer is triggered, audio is sampled but not looped. The segment of recorded audio is held in memory and can be re-triggered by pressing the reset position button. This feature essentially makes Buffer a real-time sampler, and automating the reset control is a useful way to customize the repeater effect. Now I'll demonstrate how to use this feature with a matrix pattern sequencer. With auto routing bypassed, I'll add a matrix to the rack, then hit tab to flip to the cable view, and then I'll connect the matrix gate CV socket to the buffer reset position gate input, and we'll tab back to the front and play this loop. And on the matrix, I'll set eighth note triggers on the first half of the measure and leave the second half with 16th note triggers. Now, because the timing is controlled by the pattern sequencer, you can add a pitch change without affecting the repeat timing. Note that the length is set to 16th notes. This is typically a good slice size when creating custom repeat patterns. Now let's add some swing or shuffle to the effect. First, let's add a regroove shuffle to the Kong sequence. We'll go over to the sequencer and set the regroove channel on the track. Then open the regroove mixer and adjust the global shuffle amount. And over on the matrix pattern sequence, we can enable the shuffle button, so the trigger sequence will now swing with the beat.